How about me, you, and my wife? We could hop in the pool. I'll bring this inflatable beach ball and we could talk about it and have like a civil conversation. It's not happening. Don't even get near my house. Move, move. Let's go. Let's go in. So he's in the house. Call the cops. Have you or someone you know ever backed up into a parked vehicle and just fled the scene? Well, a viewer sent in a request for me to prank her roommate who recently hit a cyclist while pulling his trailer. His legal name is Charles, but he goes by Andy. Andy circled back to check up on the cyclist, but to his surprise, the victim was nowhere to be found and fled the scene. He noticed the guy was a middle-aged black man, so I'll be calling the driver of the vehicle as my character Tyrone, pretending to be the cyclist he hit a few weeks ago and strongly accusing him of a ruthless hit and run. I'm tag teaming this prank with my friend Flo, an amazing Twitch streamer who can speak in a hilarious Vietnamese accent. Inspired by a Bacalulu. She'll tag along as Tyrone's Vietnamese wife, who's been extremely deprived from Tyrone's tender love and attention. And remember to smash that like button if you're excited to dive into this juicy prank. Hello? Hello. Hi, this is Russell from Ownage Pranks. Did I catch you at a bad time? Do you have a minute to chat about your prank request? Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Do you know his address, his home address? It's, he actually is living with me and my husband right now. He's in between houses. What is his job? He's a manager of like a huge store. He works at Best Buy. He just mentioned it like a couple of days ago. He's like, he was freaking out because he's he's brand new to driving, a tra like pulling a trailer. At the corner of the street where he hit the guy at is on the corner of the Chili's and he always eats at that Chili's. He orders to go from that Chili's. He sits at that Chili's and he's by himself. Like he always eats at that Chili's. Hit the cyclist the by, this is great information. Hit the cyclist by the Chili's. Did the cyclist yell at him or anything? He like wobbled. Did he see the cyclist at all or describe him to you? He just said it was a black guy. So listen, he's on his way home from a meeting for Best Buy. <laughs> he's 55 miles out, like oh driving home. Oh my God, home. this is perfect. <laughs> We're gonna call him real quick and just get the gears turning on this concept. If you notice that he starts opening up about some funny story, definitely record a voice memo or a video if you could like swing it. <laughs> okay. Hello? Yeah, hey there, Charles. How you doing today, sir? Good, how are you? I'm okay. You know, I I'm, I'm pretty happy that I finally found you. you. You remember the guy that you hit on that bicycle? No. Well, I, I can help refresh your memory. I had a GoPro that day. Okay. Well, I've been trying to like find out what happened. I came back to the to the area where, where I was hit. I could never find you, man. You just left. I actually I drove up and down the road looking for you. I had an anxiety attack, my brother. My heart palpitations was going crazy. And ever since that day, my wife's been trying to comfort me at home. Hey, hey, tell them how I've been feeling, boo. Hello. Uh, I am the wife. Nice to meet you. Um, he came home very in in pain. And that make me so sad inside. I don't know what happened. I, I, I've been telling her that, you know, it's going to be okay. And like, you know, we're going to get justice. Yeah, I, I actually, I turned around and drove up and down the street. I couldn't see you. And you literally, you drove right off. You know, we um just got married, right? We had to go to the honeymoon the next day. We could not do no more. I had to cancel. And then yeah. I had to take him to the hospital, take care of him. And yeah. medical bills so expensive, you know? Uh, you, you work at Best Buy, right? I do. Could you get me, like, a, a, some access to some game consoles or something like that? Like a couple PlayStation 5s? I don't have the ability to do that. I, I'd be open to anything, even if it's, you know, I can show up late at night after closing, you could just drop some TVs in my truck, you know what I'm saying? Whatever gets you done. Yeah, we can't do anything with Best Buy. I'd be open to giving you two grand to try to help with medical bills, and that's really all I got. But what can, what can I do to make it right? My hospital bills so far, because I'm uninsured, right about $12,822. That was the latest they called me to tell me about. Why don't you email me your contact information? And, uh... I'll go ahead and get a hold of my insurance company, and uh, they can uh, they can go through it and figure out what they want to do. Okay, good. But, but like, I'm just telling you, man. Like, I have, no, I, I have no, I have no way of knowing, like, you know what I mean, that anything you're saying is factual. So. I have to, you know, we'd have to go through the insurance company. Oh my God. As far as man, well, I, I was, was going to give you a chance to like, you know, remedy it and make it right. But like, and now you you think I'm a liar now? Like you remember hitting me, but you think I'm oh. lying. I'll bring you the receipts, my what? brother. Like, he say you lied? Uh, yeah, he, he's calling me a liar. Saying he don't know if I'm being honest or not. But he'd be like, how dare this I'm not, I'm not calling you a liar by any means. 
I'm a reasonable dude. I, I want to see if I could get this disability insurance to cover most of the bills. I haven't paid for them yet. Uh -huh. But if I could get that covered and 2K from you and I could show you the receipts and stuff like that, okay. I think, you know, I could be somewhat at peace. You know, I just, I've been in a neck brace, man. Like, my, you, you, my livelihood was taken away by you, my dog, after that hit. Couldn't even consummate the marriage. Like, it, it happened yeah, so yeah, soon after we got together. And I, I can't even use my Shamlam Dubli at this point because I'm hey. sitting here, like, limping around. You feel me? I definitely apologize. I mean, I tell you something. I did not have nothing sexy time with him because he yeah, always so he, hurt. No need to r remind me of rub salt on the wound. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I, I, I'm disabled, man. Like, so. Can you apologize I mean, to my he, wife, too? I feel like she's been suffering yeah. more than me. Her name is Renge Hatima Mango Yam T. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I can hear it. Yeah, no, I definitely, I apologize to you, too, for any inconvenience. Could you call her by her name, Ranga Hand? She's been really upset, man. Just you can just say something nice from the heart. I think it would really mean a lot. It hurt my family. I I try to keep my cool around you, or else I'd be mad, you know. But go ahead, go ahead, say apologize, please. Yeah, like I said, I, I definitely apologize. I didn't understand your name. You uh, it's Ranga Hand. Ranga Hand. Yeah, Ranga Hand. Ranga Hand. Yeah, I definitely, like I said, I definitely apologize. Like I didn't mean to cause any inconvenience by any means. I'm going to reach out to you so you can simmer on it, and, and I, I, we'll, we'll talk, or maybe like on Friday, we could connect for a brief phone call together. How you feel about that? It's fine. Okay. You enjoy the rest of your day now. No, I'm going to be here wobbling around, so send me some positive vibes, my brother. I'll be jail later. Okay, all right. Bye-bye. Dude, this guy is probably freaking the fuck out. <laughs> He's <laughs> given the context his friend shared. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. Um, I want to know, like, if she could like record maybe him talking to. She's going to. Them. He was like, "No, I'm really sorry. Like, I really didn't see you. Like, and uh, he was like, you know, I need you to apologize to my wife too." In the background, she's like, "We haven't even been able to have a sexy time." And she's Asian. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> she's Asian. Do what? <laughs> Dead serious. She's in the background. She's like, we haven't even been able to have sexy time. This you know, is bullshit. I don't know you to he goes, I need you to say my wife's name and apologize to her. And I'm like, okay, well, what's her name? And he's like, <laughs> Kar Han Kung Kong or something. I'm like, I'm like, I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> like, can you say it again? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he's trying to extort me for money. What's he want? How much you want? I guess two grand. Was he good with that? Yeah, he seemed fine with it. Well, you just pay it and be done with it. For one, it's cheaper than what your insurance is going to yes. be after you hit and run somebody. So, my thing for is, sure. is going to keep coming back. But once the two grand's up, it's going to be like, you know what I mean? I want more. The hook has been set, and Andy is clearly concerned about falling victim to an extortion plot by Tyrone and his wife. I reached out to his roommate Carrie to gather some more information that can help elevate this prank. She sent me photos of their five-bedroom house with a nice pool, as well as photos of ATVs and other expensive toys on the property. Now watch how we gonna use these photos to take the prank to a whole new level. Uh, hello? Hi, Tyrone? Uh, hey, what's up, my brother? Uh, how you doing? Yes, Tyrone. I, I did feel like you kind of lowballed me yesterday with that whole 2K estimate, though, after I did some reflection myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was talking to my wife, and, and she was telling me that you was lowballing me hard. So what I was, uh, you know, as I was thinking about it, I mean, I think the best thing to do is for me just to, you know, file an insurance claim, because if, you know, I mean, there's more stuff that's wrong, like, I'd obviously, you know what I mean, I want to make sure you're taken care of. You know, I only have so much money, so... Are you lying to me when you say you don't have that much money? Are you trying to, like, downplay it? No. I, I poked around and stuff. It looks like you got all sorts of money, man. Like, you got, like, a big-ass pool and stuff like that, all sorts of vehicles and stuff, and, like, you acting like you, like, like you a homeless dude or something like that. No, I, uh, I stay with a friend and rent a room. Can we stay in a spare bedroom until me and my wife get back on our feet? It's not, it's not a house. In fact, they're telling me I need to find a house. Tell him what happened to us. Let me, let me talk to him. Well, well, basically, like, we, we kind of in between houses right now after the whole, like, tough times and well, stuff. tell him we homeless. We do not have uh, the house because of him. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay, uh, you, uh, you, you don't have to say it like that, baby. But, but, you know, currently we in between houses right now and we struggling a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm trying to figure out, like, it's hard to get a job when you're wobbling all over the place. All right, so I've been texting Andy as Tyrone on one of my burner numbers throughout this entire prank. It's time to bring this to stage two and send him the photos that the requester shared of his actual backyard. Watch how he reacts. Which one of these can we possibly have? Why do you have a picture? None of that stuff's my stuff. Uh, because I, I was, just, I told you we had to, you know, I had to do some cross references just to make sure that, you know, I, I felt like you was lying through your teeth. So that's why we just took a, we just took a look. You know, one, I don't appreciate you coming to my house. It's not my house. Right? You make so, up your mind, man. Is it your um, house or not your house? You're slipping up the lies over there. You're saying it's my house okay. and not it's my not, house. Like, not, 
it's not my house, but I don't yeah. appreciate you coming to where I stay. Can me and a couple of my friends come take a dip in the pool sometime just to kind of cool off? How about that? Like, I'm trying to be reasonable here. No. Wh why not? Why not? And in fact, I'm going to reach out to make sure that, you know, I'm going to tell the police that you're on my property, my friend's property. Okay. I'm going to tell the police that you hit my ass, motherfucker. How about that? Like I said, I, I drove up and down the road looking for you. I stayed I there. Oh, so. maybe you, you go to Chile or something and get yeah. the food or something. Forget about my husband. Yeah, you know, she she saw you at the Chili's that time. You know, you, you sitting over there having jalapeno poppers at Chili's while we sitting here struggling. Like I said, I, I'd be more than happy to create an insurance claim so that they can, you know, get you taken care of for whatever medical bills or expenses that you've had. I mean, that's what that's what you do when accidents happen. How about me, you, and my wife? We can hop in the pool. I'll bring this inflatable beach ball and we can talk about it and have like a civil conversation. I can go no. by in 15 minutes. Not happening. Don't don't even get near my house. You think maybe he let me use the kitchen we cook the food and eat in yeah, the bar I, I think, or I think something? Can, I, I think, I, I, let's see if he lets us, you know, use use the pool in the first place. But I'll send you the insurance information. Don't step foot on my friend's property again. Okay. All right. And like I said, next time I call, on a, is that understood? Hey, you can leave my balls. Is that understood? Like, calm your ass down. Saying. Okay. I'm glad you understand. Don't. All right. Bye. Mother. Wow, this guy went from friendly to aggressive real quick. After the call, Andy called his roommate Carrie immediately. And thank God she recorded it, because oh God, is this guy paranoid. If you're enjoying the elaborate prank, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't ever miss a future video. And said what about TVs? No, ATVs. Oh. And showed oh. me a picture of the backyard with ATVs. And I told him, I was like, you don't ever step foot in my house again, or I'm calling the cops. I was like, you know my insurance information, but you don't ever step foot on my property. He sent you a picture of my house? Of the, the ATVs in the back. Great. So you had to come in the yard then? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And they said they're like, they're like in between houses. He's like, my wife's really hot. Maybe we can just come over and like have some tea and like jump in the pool and cool off. He's like, we just need somewhere to stay. Maybe you can talk to your friends. I was like, I'm not talking to my friends about anything. Whatever we'll step foot on my property. He's asking to stay at our house? That's serious, bro. What else did he say? He said he was going to take something? No, nah, he, he got pissed. The last thing he said to me was like, you can f*** my balls. <laughs> I don't believe what? you, Andy. Do what? There's just... I, I swear to God. Ha ha, so funny, dude. We'll see if you're still laughing when my wife and I show up to take a dip in the pool later this week. We all waited for the perfect day when Andy would be away from the house for a while. Flo and I got on a four-way call with Andy's roommate Carrie and her husband. We then called Andy with Carrie's number showing up on the caller ID to inform him of his worst nightmare. Let's just say things are about to get good. Hello? Andy. Yeah. There is a guy here named Tyrone at the house with his wife wanting to go swimming in our pool. Are you and kidding me? You told him that they gave permission. He, he said we could no. come through for like half an hour. He said it wouldn't be a big deal. No, I told him you better not step foot on the property. Call the cops. Full swimming trunks. This guy's got a neck brace on his neck. Everything he wants to get in the pool. No. My, my wife said that it would be like physical therapy if we got a chance to just like get a dip in there. Like I, I, I'm, I'm limping, man. Like it's a hot day. I just day want to go in the pool. We do the hot tub and check no, over we'll here. Get the hot tub. We yep. only go to the hot tub. No big deal. Honestly, like, why can't we just all pop open a couple beers, we can hang out, I just thought like, you know, we could get to know each other a little bit. Just call the insurance company. I did already. I, I, they, they said they're gonna call me back, we're gonna process that, but like, I, I'm still hot. Like, I'm, I'm sweating profusely. That problem has not been solved yet. Not not my not my problem. Get off the property. This, this guy looks fucked up, Andy. Like, he's pretty battered up. Uh, okay. I, I'm standing right here, man. I said I'd send you my insurance information, and you said it's my ball. You have two options. You can either yeah, leave yeah. the house, or we can call the cops. We're just having a conversation, man. Like, why, why do we have to be so aggressive? You haven't seen aggressive yet. I'm just standing here in a neck brace, like, with my, like, small, petite Asian wife. I don't know what to do, bud. What do you want me to do? You tell me. Why don't you move? Move, move. Let's go. Let's go in. There's a PS5 right there, man. Is that his? So he's in the house and wants your PS5. Andy, get Just the get in the, the PS5. Out of my house. Now. Hey, hey, Charles, you got any games? No, they're, it's on the thing. Text me the password for the PlayStation Network. Bro, just, the cops are coming. You're not getting anything. Put him on me, I want 
money. And charge her a hundred dollars too, man, please. Like she should be bothering me all the time. Bro, he's destroying the house. I think the TV or something. Say what? He's destroying the house. Call right, the right, cops. We gonna leave, okay? But like, we just gonna call that. We'll call it even. All right? No, like, it's five call five I don't care. Call the cops, Chris. Apparently, the cops are already coming, man. That's why we trying to be quick. All right? Where the jewelry at? Oh, I find. Yeah, no. I find your knife. Oh. I can cut you, man. No. Bo, I cut you. This bitch has got a knife. What the fuck is she doing? Bo, fuck you. Get out of my house. Fuck you. No man, man. Get out of my house. Hey, 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 be nice to my wife, man. She's real frail. You can grab both of the wrists with one hand. No, get out of my house. Baby, stop flailing around like that. You're going to just Help me. Take the PlayStation. Get the hell out. Take it. Go. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, all right. I'm getting the PlayStation. Okay. Fuck you. No, man. Hey, baby, hurry up, baby. Let's go. Hey, let's go, baby. Okay, let's go. I hear the cop coming. Fuck you, bad boy. Get the fuck out. Go. What, like, what the f just happened? They took the PlayStation, they took the cash, they took everything that was around the front door. Now he's going around back. Did you guys call the cops? What are you doing out back here? Oh my God. He just jumped in the pool. Get out of my pool, your dirty ass. He's breaststroking and freaking doing backflips in the pool, bro. What's that so hard, man? Like, I was just a quick dip, my brother. Hey, it's amazing out here. Is this heated? It's amazing he's doing backflips and death strokes with a neck brace. Mr. Chris, any chance we could just reset, hop in the pool with us, and just like, you know, we could chat about it a little more civilly? Maybe you can play Tommy and play Marco Polo with us? Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we, let's, let's do Marco Polo, but I think that they called the cop. Are you hearing this shit? Yeah. Hey, hey, you mind if my wife's me off right quick? This ledge has the perfect height, my brother. If I'm gonna get arrested, like, let me bust a nut right quick. Get in here right now. All uh, right, sorry, maybe that was too ambitious, my baby. How do I get this bomb out of my fucking pool? The, the term yeah. bomb is very offensive. If you could call me in between houses, that I would don't be give a Your dirty ass is in my pool. Get out of my pool. Hey, I'm coming out the pool. Let me tell Charles one last thing, okay? I want to tell him the real reason that I walked off that day. I feel bad for putting you and your friends through the runaround like this. So much chaos. Your boy's out here sweating profusely himself now. He needs to dip in the pool. I don't want to put a, a, a wrench between y'all, okay? So I want to tell you one last thing, and then I'm, I'm going to be on my way. If the cops come, they can just come to my my, my, you know, my in-between house's apartment. I, I live on the street, my brother. The whole reason why I was able to do backflips with a neck brace on is because uh, this whole thing was actually just a prank set up by your friends. And I'm not actually the crazed man that you hit with your trailer. None of it's actually true. And we wanted to reveal to you today that it was all a joke. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, when a joke is pulled off on you, it's a little hard to let go right away, but your friends, uh, who, who are you? It? My name is Russell. I run a YouTube <laughs> and comedy channel called Ownage Franks. I got you. Um, well, you definitely got me. Well, I have my friend Flo on the line and she was playing my wife. Flo, say what's up. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hope you like my right. Vietnamese accent. You know, sexy time. You're a good dude and we're trying to do right by this crazy man that was trying to extort you. So props for the hypothetical okay. scenario. Now I got to figure out a way to get them back. But I oh, to get listen, they deserve Fair it, man. On. Thank you all for the time and it. collaboration. Bye. 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 Are you looking for somewhere to go next? Make a turn to the left. This scammer is literally okay with letting people die in order to get an iTunes gift card. You will not believe the insanity. Or turn right uh, and see me accuse somebody of a hit and run myself. Their reaction is a crazy. Hurry up, you at the T-junction. Go left or go right.